This was like 176 it was 8 cents from Walmart. But I did buy something else too with it because I needed free shipping, so. This one has the GPS, so I think I paid like 10 or 15 bucks more for that. It's got a lot of like automatic learning rejections, like if you're driving in like malls and stuff, it should, after a while, like learn that those are false readouts and stuff. The box is kind of blurry, but. And it's total laser, laser, laser detection. So it's literally got every one of them. I wanted voice alerts too, that way. And I'm just going to look at it. I can hear it. It'll tell me. And I like that it has auto mute and auto dim dark. Because I've had some Cobra ones where they're just like... You literally have to go press it to change the dimming, and it's, it's annoying as hell at night when it's super bright. So this is nice, I can change it, or it does automatically. I just wanted something simple, and that's what I got. Let's unbox it if I can with one hand, without breaking it. So I was like looking, I'm like, radar detectors are hell expensive, like, my last one I bought a Cobra at Best Buy, I think it was, I think it was a little more than this, but... The first day it paid for itself. I was an hour away from my house. I had a one-ton van, which is a Dodge 360. And I was like, you know, I was bored on the freeway. I was like, oh, how fast this thing go? I got going like 80 or 90 on the freeway thing, which is... Uh, <laughs> it's a mission all excel to Going that fast. And all of a sudden, my radar detector went off. So I slowed down, and there was a cops doing speed traps. There was like two or three cops, and they are within like a mile of each other. And I slowed down, and thank God I did, because I was going close to 100 by the time like I was catching up to him. So that $180 thing paid for itself first day and it has, I believe this is the one with the smart plug. Maybe not. So this one has a cigarette lighter with an extra USB, but I'm sure the USB is not going to be useful to anything. I wouldn't even plug my dash cam in here. Let's see. Oh, 2.1 amps. So it's not horrible. But I went and bought this so I could plug everything at once. If you watch my last video, that way I can plug my radar detector in on one side, and I have an anchor which has two USB slots and an IQ slots on the other side. And then if I'm doing like a road trip or somebody and somebody needs to charge their phone, I can do that too. And these are 2.4 amps, so I bought this from Skosh. I think it was around 20 bucks. So that's nice. So I'm, I'm good for charging. I probably want to use this. Get the charging cable. I think you could update this one too, which is nice. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Looks to be a USB cable. Yeah. Non-slip dash pad. Oh, they give you a dash pad too? That's weird. I really hope they give me like a window suction mount and I didn't just pay $180 almost for... Okay, I think it's right here. Yes, okay. These are not the best. I'll probably buy the little quick ones, but they usually fall off for a while. What else we got here in the goodie bag? Oh, it's a manual. I'm guessing it's on this side. How would suck if I got everything. It's like not even here. That's why I like this one. One second. That's why I like this one because it's a symbol. There's no... You know that dang thing? It's really in there. Oh, they don't want you to get anything out. And there she is. Just simple and small. Believe it or not, you might be watching this video going $180. This is the cheaper. This is the cheaper of the radar detectors. Oh my god. Do, do, do I pull off the plastic now? It actually feels quite solid compared to some. Like the Cobra ones give a lot of false readings. And that's why I paid more for this one because it has GPS. And it, like, it, it's supposed to filter out a lot of the false readings. So, and you can change the colors and stuff. So, if you want to check these out on Walmart before they get sold out. And I forgot Amazon Prime Day is today, so you could probably buy this for really cheap right now, but whatever. I might see if they have a Whistler mount for cheap right now. Actually, is a good idea. Because these are cool, but I like the ones with, like, the locking suction versus just stick-up suction. But this is nice. All black, too. Ready for that sound? Ready for it? There's the one I can take out. Oh. Oh, I think it goes on the front. There we go. Oh, that was lackluster. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, look how 
shiny it is. Wow. So it's got dark, quiet mode. City, I think there's a bunch of different modes on there. Obviously got your USB port. Now I'm not sure if you can run this off USB. I don't think you can. I think this is just for updating the unit. And then obviously it's got a speaker. It's a nice metal grill in here too. And then I think those are lights in there, blue lights. And then all this here. Oh, well, that's cool. Press for power. Oh, you press it. I'm used to the Cobra ones where you twist it and it goes on. This one, you just press it. You press it. And you can just adjust the volume like this. That's cool. And then what is this? Oh, that's probably for their button release. That's cool. Nice. Plastic, but feels solid. This metal grill in here is metal, actually. And then, yeah. There she is. Go pick yourself up one. I mean, yeah, this is $180 ish, but think about it. One ticket is going to cost you. If you save you from one ticket, then you pay for yourself, and you could use this all day long. Hey, look at that reflection, though. Damn, son. Whistler got the nice plastic.